Hey Gab, Facebook, YouTube, and Minds.com. This is Kevin Newsom coming to you from Houston, Texas. I hope you're having a good time whenever and wherever you're at. You know, as I was watching some of the clips from CNN's scripted town hall meeting about gun control, uh, a few things came to mind. First off, CNN. CNN has just about the same amount of credibility as the Jerry Springer show. Word came out uh, over the past week that two survivors of the Florida shooting had their questions and comments censored by CNN because they were not pro-gun control questions and comments. So at this point, CNN is not even pretending to be about journalism or news or investigation. All they are doing is putting together programming that's going to get them the highest possible ratings regardless of content. So kudos to you CNN, you now have all the credibility of 90's trash TV. So good for you. The second observation I have to make this week uh, in the wake of the horrible tragedy in Florida really goes back to the nature of the schools themselves. You know previously I discussed that our schools, specifically our middle and high schools, are leaving our children physically defenseless. Essentially, they're taught that if something bad happens, they need to cower, they need to hide underneath or by their desks. They need to wait for help. So in case something bad happens, you just need to hide and to cower, and hopefully nothing bad will happen to you. Now, again, previously I discussed the importance of reversing this trend and of teaching our students how to defend themselves and making this a school-wide, district-wide, state-wide, and yes, nationwide priority. Not only though are schools making our children physically defenseless, but they're also teaching them to be emotionally defenseless as well. Looking at that alleged town hall meeting from CNN, we had people in the audience who were claiming to be speaking out against violence who are claiming to want to reduce the level of violence in our society. Those very same people made death threats against the NRA spokeswoman that was there that night. This is the kind of emotional climate that we're dealing with in America. And you have to ask yourself, how in the world did we get here in the first place? How in the world are we cranking out people from these schools who oftentimes don't know how to read or write, but also have no ability whatsoever to deal with the emotional complexities of the 21st century. Now we all know that our schools tend to teach to standardize testing. They tend to prioritize and focus a lot of time and attention on standardized tests because quite frankly, that's how they get their revenue from their states. Unfortunately, what we're doing is cranking out students who know how to take these standardized tests and for the most part know how to pass them, but are otherwise ill-equipped for the 21st century. What I would like to see happen instead of placing this focus on standardized testing is instead to institute a practicum. For all the standardized tests, for all the gifted and talented classes, unfortunately the one area that is being neglected is practical knowledge. So I would advocate for a practicum, a series of courses dealing with practical knowledge. This practicum would begin at sixth grade. Every student in America would be exposed to the how-to's of the very basics of living in the 21st century. So beginning in sixth grade, every student in the United States in public school would begin, in addition to their regular courses, a series of practical lessons. How to survive in the 21st century. And one of the main areas of focus would be how to have a healthy emotional life. How to deal with life when things don't go your way. How to deal with rude and boorish people. How to deal with hostile environments. How to have good, positive, and healthy relationships. These things simply 
aren't being taught to our students and as a consequence we see the effects of this lack of knowledge from the people who are graduating from these schools. They may come out prepared to go to college but they are unprepared to deal with the emotional complexities of college. Not to mention the emotional complexities of life as a whole. Think back to what the school shooters have in common. Think back to some of the traits that almost every one of these mass casualty shooters have in common. Typically they're young. Typically they are teenaged males. Typically they're on some sort of psychotropic medication. Typically they have some sort of mental issue. They are not completely well mentally. And the human beings who are involved with these mass casualty shootings all tend to struggle with mental health issues. Why are these issues not being addressed in our schools? Why are we not teaching young people how to lead and live healthy mental and emotional lives? So my proposal is this. We install a practicum, a series of practical educational assignments and courses beginning in sixth grade all the way through twelfth grade for every student in a public school in America. We'd be teaching them practical lessons on how to deal with real life. And yes, these would include how to have a healthy and full and rewarding emotional life. How to deal with situations that are very difficult. How to deal with deaths in the family. How to deal with breakups. How to deal with social situations that aren't particularly pleasant. How to be mentally strong. Friends, if we do not teach our children how to do this, we're just going to be creating more and more problems for ourselves in the future. To have practical education be a part of all public school curriculum makes too much sense. But before this can happen, there's going to have to be some changes that are made. Unfortunately, the way the public education system is set up, it discourages this kind of lesson from being taught. Everything is standardized. Everything is hooked in to some sort of formula for funding. And unfortunately for the students, this kind of practical knowledge is not attached to state funding as of yet. And if it's not attached to state funding, it's simply not a priority. And in fact, several public school teachers feel like they are fighting with one arm tied behind their back. Oftentimes, their administrations do not support them. Oftentimes, the admin only cares about not rocking the boat. Because when you rock the boat, you tend to lose state funding. It doesn't do any good to graduate someone who can pass a standardized test that has a meltdown whenever someone disagrees with them. It doesn't serve us as a society to have someone who can have a very high SAT score but threatens to kill themselves when someone breaks up with them. We need to focus on creating a well-rounded human being coming out of our public education system. And that means practical education. Now, not only does this mean emotional stability and emotional health, this also means the increase and the return of vocational education. Not everybody needs to wear a tie to work. Not everybody needs to sit in a cubicle all day. We need good young men and women who are in various trades and vocations. Not only is there nothing wrong with that, it's a great thing because it takes all kinds of people for society to, to succeed. And finally, part of this practicum will be the how-tos of everyday life. How to change a tire on a car. How to balance a checkbook. How to apply for a mortgage. How to conduct yourself in a job interview. These skills are not being taught to our children. These very basic practical skills. And my friends, we are paying the price for that right now. It's time to put a stop to that. It's time to prioritize the health, the well-being, and the future of our children. This is Kevin Newsom coming to you from Houston, Texas. 
wishing you very well. I hope you're having a good time whenever, wherever you're at. God bless you. Bye.